All right, now that we've dusted everything out and blew it out with some uh, compressed air, usually what we do is blow it out real well. Dust everything down. We uh, tighten all the connections here. These are your thermostat wire connections. You got your yellow for your AC, your W2, your green, your red, your common. All your electrical connections, make sure that all those are tight. All these Molex plugs are tight. You know, make sure they're all secure. Any loose wiring, we're going to we're gonna go ahead and zip tie up. You got your blower motor back in there. Kind of hard to see. Um, this is your door switch. So what happens is when that panel comes off, the door switch opens and takes power away from the system. But... Instead of holding it, we have this thing called the old switcheroo. All it is is a magnet. We're just going to see. It might not even work. Yeah, it does work. Um, so now the system is starting. Blower motor should start first. We'll see. Blower motor's in there. See the wheel? We call it squirrel cage. You got your burners. Um, your ignition system is right there. Touch this orange wire. Um, let's go ahead and jump. Get this thing going. So we're going to jump R, which is 24 volts. And W2. What happens? Inducer motor just started. You hear it? Now when I jump that, that means I'm, this is basically the thermostat. Instead of going to the thermostat, I jumped, jumped it, meaning I put 24 volts to my white wire to turn on the heating system. In just a second, you're going to see the burners fire. that heat exchanger warms up for about a minute, uh, 45 seconds, the blower motor is going to turn on. We don't want to put any cold air into the home. Oh, it already started. So you can see it's spinning. The filter in this one's down here is 20 by 25. So they have to take this off and change the filter every time. Okay, now you got your blower motor, everything's running good. I don't see any, anything that's out of line. Pressure switches. Tubing is good. Oh, excuse me. Everything looks good. Gas bottle open over there. I'm gonna blow out the condensate lines. about it we do heating tune-ups heating repairs heating installations putting a lot of furnaces in lately we do have financing a lot of people are opting for the financing it's a low monthly payment easy to get approved and uh, you'll save money on the power bills um, it'll be way more efficient it'll have a warranty I would recommend getting a new system if you have an old one at least if it's 15 years old or so, I would definitely consider it, depending on what repairs need to be done and how it's operating. But give Larson Air a call. We'll definitely get you hooked up. We're in Las Vegas. There's our number. Family owned and operated since 1984.